because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia, the AIU designed to control the system. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. For a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <laughs> if it isn't Aeol, savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast, remember? I'm not much for parties. Yeah. That one was in your honor. Same. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. 
After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. You're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> Focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. like this all the time since I was a little girl come on Grapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now, Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why I 
Elspeth gave them a backup of Gaia. For a colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah. Reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Farazineth believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, it didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. some friends from underground. Okay. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1, establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn, status complete. Phase 2, the asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia, subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. 
What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Oral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement, convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. to the shuttle. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. There's the other connector.
here. Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers, brood of vipers, with a mighty hand I smite and pour troubles upon you. for it's nothing but a fake sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Farl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Farl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure. But Spymaster Murad, back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. Okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... A little better idea. Champion. Make way. 
Marat, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashane, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come, I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the Allied, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. And that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send in signals, messages, the terraforming system. Yeah, but Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I'm sure we got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check out. Let us know what you find. I've got a bad feeling about this. I could pull this thing out of the house. What? I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raped the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't take one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Leloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, I'll be 
why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I have discovered? Oh, I'll go and find you, all right. Yes. Well, the recording should make it simple enough. Even for you. Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh. They allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Ard, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. The Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the Captain the spear now? Please? It's a minute. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit. Vinasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the... citizens of the Sundom. May these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. West, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Barren Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it.
It's a barren light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Uh, the daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones. Lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? We've got hunters, just none that want to cross all of them. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stop, which was his idea. 
Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja's son priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ah! Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? What is? That's Aloy. Studious what is? Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baronlight. We are here as you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, Scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear. And not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? When I'm speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. What is? Studious what is. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah. Said they checked the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring it back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Gray and wait for me there? Got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. George Sellers. Do you listen to me? By the Forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. Nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I. Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our the bristlebacks are everybody's. And you've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I 
Keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Little flame hair. Good to see you. you gotta move on. Petra. But, if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. And then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. Vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. I'm gonna go chasing across the dawn. I'm gonna want a trip caster. Not just any trip caster. One of my make. Free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> like someone. I don't follow. There's this sack of wet dirt. Olvind. Thinks he's the elderman of Chain Scrape. Got half the town treating him as such. Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Olven discount. I said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip caster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. Some headed south. In my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Uh, who needs ribs? Huh? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm good. I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? 
I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Errand, what I did at the Spire. What we did. It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? Well, that's great! I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so big. But, but hey, what? Whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. Couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? <laughs> now that figures. Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron White. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the Battle of the Spire, you, you took off. You left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? What kind of person? How about someone who thinks saving the world is more important than whether your feelings get hurt? Saving the world? That's what I've been doing, Erend. What I'm still doing. So sorry if I've been in a hurry. Well, I guess when you put it like that... Oh, as usual, I shouldn't have said anything. Errand! By the forge! <laughs> I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. Uh, no, no. Hey, no, you're, you're needed elsewhere, obviously. We'll make it without you. what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people, but we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but chain scrapes whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Olven blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Olven holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim, digging out stone to shore barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a thaw before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said. I've cleared out all backs, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing, and waiting up ahead for you. Well, 
I shall not be moving anywhere until the whistle has sounded. If it is not safe for them, then it is not safe for me. Fine. I'll make sure the whistle gets blown, and then I'll be back. Hear that? We're not leaving yet. Unpack the cart! No. I'll be right back. Don't get comfortable. As if that were possible here. What do you want, Albert? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olvent Friol, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, let's get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble, ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Over oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day. Or two. No. You blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay. Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather round. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated! You. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business! Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. You heard the whistle. Time to go. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light Buddies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Oh, now the 
that that's done. Yes, are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Waris is here, we can finally get things underway. But <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Special how? The Tanakh are returning one of our own, a soldier by the name of Fashav. He's been their captive for five years. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy is going to go well until it's practically over. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That you all. We appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness until the Tanakh sound their horn. Yea, for as the first shall be good. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, Run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Lucky for you, the savior of Meridian still has a few things she wants to take care of. the embassy. Maybe I could check. Your impatience does not hasten the Tanakh, Nora. Only our annoyance. Thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... Please. Don't let her go. 
asking nicely. Hey, Varl. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's Water happening? Oh, you know, the usual. Aloy wants something. Open People try to stand in her way. It's not going to work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King Avad is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Paul. It doesn't matter. To describe the Morato. It's no more politics. No more delays. That is the line between East and West. Cross it, die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parlay or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. I'm turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding for Shav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You'll have to forgive my comrades. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs, and I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. 
can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to- Look! The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals, it wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the Commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kaiser. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After. over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such a... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala, Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. The Karo has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Fighting machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav! Come with us now, or not at all! Archers! Light them up!
take it. What happened? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! Now. 
You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys. trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Those are Vladis, Peshav, a massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though... Obviously, this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh's chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get the match done. Watch over you, Eloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Stuck Hades in from that door. Looks like a pharaoh 
facility. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are a tilted extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out plans to save you this time. Ago. It's what you were designed to do. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. Master Override Arms. Collective, stay name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I... I'm using the same spyware, I see, so... All those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you... I've produced the results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. 
a testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. And he's told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say, on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast, but in a situation like this, you say, thank you, and I say, you're welcome. save the world on my own? Ah, uh, yes, Will. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Die and reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek, a genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Simons. For once, Eloy submitted to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First, I rebuild Gaia. Save life on Earth. Then I track you down and end yours. I'm trying to help you here. Try spying on me with that. 
there. New focus, spyware free. Okay. Think. Think, think, think. I don't care how powerful they are. The only thing that can open that hatch is me. Profile confirmed. Entering authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobak. Please step inside. <laughs> originate here. Has someone... Something wrong? Any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Mm hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if it- Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor as life fades from the eyes. Ooh! Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. Come on. Reckon that thing ain't gonna help, girl. Come on. Come at me. If that thing comes down, it's only gonna kill you. I'm letting you have all the fun. Body went with it. Right. Since when don't 
Don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres. Search. I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plains. Plains. Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Well, why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do shit. You're so right. Rawl said I should talk to you. About the machines. In the mountains west of Plainsong. I'm about 
about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. song. No trouble out there. The Otaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Will be your first sacred cave. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so there is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. <laughs> She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. It's just that I... Is that what you were trying to say? Um, yes. Then I look forward to more conversation.
Okay. All held up. I'm here, as promised. It's singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. So the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session? The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. sacred cave. There's something inside I need. If I can get it, it so will... So, and the Nora, I've spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander. Ignorant of our beliefs. Please. Remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zo. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah. By inviting you to break our traditions. Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. 
you would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outland can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. the core of this place. God. I do not grieve for a god or a machine, but because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? Oh. 
we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on it. They look like machines. They must be overrides. Knowledge on how to take looks like Augustus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. The data has been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines. Alert. System core penetrated. like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. Is it? Let's cease. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Hi. Hi. 
Guy is still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. I have established a network between your focus. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... Uh, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated. But it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away and... and... Why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. 
Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the Master Override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited. So it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the Far Zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore, might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Farzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. 
You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Kaya. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Ball? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. It'll be better this way. Need to head further west to um, get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Aaron, bring him here. Look, allies, friends can help. We have a place to stay now, and like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these, then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere easy with Tanakh's warrior. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but... Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Lion. <laughs> yes. You are known to us. I am Decca. Chaplain of the Lowland clan. We've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's... there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. How? Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. All right, let's go see Chief Akara. He's in his throne room, at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the town. The Chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I'm ready. Good. Come.
will see you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. A man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal Slain. I count hundreds more to not whose lives hang in the balance, I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more Martians to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted in a trial by combat called the Kurut. I've sent out a call for the competition. Since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clan. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Kuwait. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have fought in sending their contestants. Must go north and force Dakota, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Dekka on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. 
Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. This must be Stonecrest. Catello should be waiting for me. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. Path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Rogala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, Marshal. I'll send the lift for you. This was home. A long time ago. Come on. In the name of the cat. We're here for Takote. Let us in. Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Cool Root. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. Regala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow. If he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. 
I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls. Our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. <laughs> and what do you know of the battles that the Bulwark has withstood? The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield. You were a great warrior once. That was then. Tell Hakaro, with all due respect, that we will keep our challengers here for as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. I told you, words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men about. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. Wait here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? They're safe behind the bulwark, right? Don't remind me. So, we take it down. Did you hit your head on the way down here? I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock and metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. And you said the Rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? That was an unkind comparison. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves, and leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now, and take this cripple with you.
done. Can't hide behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaru. Never. Never. We will... We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. The bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon. Let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. You decreed that no challenges would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns and Dakota's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera. The chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah. Maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the culvert. Good. We may need another miracle there as well. It seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Katalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come from you. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Katalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. There's armor in that chest. Take it. It might. Focus on the machines. Take them down and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below. Or from above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth.
The cool route is upon us. Our struggle demands new blood, new leaders. Release the quarry. Take down a machine. Shall be named Marshall. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they do, and seize your glory.
business isn't finished, I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished with Gala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the Ten. throughout the grove are different now and this one it, it just appeared is this your doing that's the one that inspired chief hakara more testimony of the old ones that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Aunt Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. I say no to that. So, there's someone who wants to join us. 
I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Ether back to Gaia. Yeah, like this? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Erend, you're all better. And you're here. Well, he tells me that our savior needs our help after all. Who am I to refuse? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard the warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the ruins. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Okay. you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To the mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll 
Be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. There she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. Stress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up, all so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating, it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The asset? Is that the, uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... the Asset. I don't know where it is. And my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. It's in storage. Please.
Aloy. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? We need to get her back to- Oh shit, they can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. Figure out how that thing works. Maybe the Zenas won't be so invincible after all. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenus. I should check on the clone, too. Burl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Aloy! Glad you made it back up. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sun removal of a neurologically integrated data device. 
The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, hey boy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What do they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that... You are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or so? How long? You know your your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy? So, well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Guy is powerful enough to absorb Festus. What? You don't have a Festus already? is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location? Of course not! You don't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind! We're never going to beat them! Everything! Everyone! I'm gonna die! Hey! Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. See if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. Aloy. I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield. But it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology. But not how it worked. What did the 
explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us. Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Gaia. So I guess we won't be making use of Silent's weapon.